Hello my friends, welcome back to another album review. This one is going to be a, a few weeks old. Uh, I wanted to give it time to sink in so that I could really give you an honest review of it. And if you can tell by the uh, title of the video, I'm talking about this brand new album right here called Mark Tremonti Sings Frank Sinatra. Now, if you're like me and you're like, who is Mark Tremonti? Because that's how, that's how I was when I saw this uh, advertised. Um, I'm I'm really big into the standards and to big band, and I really like when current artists do American Songbook. I know it, it might be hacky. Some people say it's cliche, like oh, it's just what an artist does when they, you know, are on their last leg. I mean, in recent years, we've had albums by like Bob Dylan has put out several albums of standards. Van Morrison has incorporated them into some of his more recent albums. Uh, obviously, Willie Nelson has several that he's done. Um, you know, uh, Rod Stewart, Ringo Starr did it early on. Uh, Paul McCartney did it with uh, Kisses on the Bottom. So it, it's not a new thing. Uh, it, it's been done a lot. But something about this struck me in that when I was looking up who this was and it came up as an advertisement on YouTube or on my social media. Mark Tremonti is the, he was the guitarist of alternative band uh, Creed from 1994 until 2004-ish. And then he was, well, he's currently with uh, Ultra Bridge, which several members of Creed went to start Ultra Bridge, um, especially with the decline of their lead singer, Scott Stapp. And he also has his own side project called Tremonti. Well, this is outside of all of those doors. This isn't a Creed project. This isn't a Tremonti project. This isn't an Alter Bridge project. This is just Mark Tremonti solo singing the songs of Old Blue Eyes himself, Frank Sinatra. And let me tell you, this might be the runner up for the best album of 2022. I'm not kidding. I'd never heard of this guy because I don't listen to that kind of music. I liked Creed when I was a, a younger kid. I had I have their greatest hits somewhere over. I don't even think it's on my shelf. I think it's like in my you know box of CDs. That I don't really have a spot for that, that sort of thing. We all have it, but I had no idea who Mark Tremonti was, and I still didn't really know who he was when he started singing. And I saw there were video clips he, he put up. Uh, singles included um, Fly Me to the Moon and I believe uh, I've Got You Under My Skin. But he does Sinatra big hits. He does the deep cuts. So let me go ahead and read the track listing off and then I'll continue on into some of my ponderings about it and talk about his voice. So he does 14 tracks. And uh, another thing that I should mention is that, for one thing, the painting is done by Mark. So super talented and every cent of this album goes to autism awareness, which is really cool. Tremonti's not making a dollar off of this thing. So it's all going to charity and a really worthy cause um, to treat autism in children. So well done, Mark. Even if this album, even if this is not your thing, buy it to support autism research. So you have 14 tracks. Uh, a lot of these you'll know, they've been done a million times. Some of them are a little bit deeper. So on side A, you have I've Got You Under My Skin, I've Got The World On A String, I'll Fall In Love Too Easily, Wave, Fly Me To The Moon, Nancy With The Laughing Face, and then My Way. And then side B, you have You Make Me Feel So Young, Luck Be A Lady, That's Life, Come Fly With Me, In The Wee Small Hours Of The Morning, The Song Is You, and then All Or Nothing At All. Now, I think for me it's cool because a lot of these songs I learned because of Bob Dylan and his uh, trio of uh, st <clears throat> standards albums that he put out in the mid-2000s, 2014 through uh, 2018, 2019 with Triplicate. 2019. Sorry, I've got to, I want to be sure. 2017, wow, this album's five years old. That's hard to believe. I guess that makes sense because we're often, anyway. I digress. Tremonti sings Sinatra. Tremonti's voice sounds like 
he's got the stylings of Frank Sinatra in his voice. But he's also got a little bit of the tone of Seth MacFarlane. If you know who Seth MacFarlane is, Seth MacFarlane, he's the creator of, you know, those shows like Family Guy, American Dad. But MacFarlane can also sing. And, and, and he has put out several um, standards albums. In fact, he has a new one out now, as well as a Christmas album. He sings in that crooner style voice. So Tremonti is a mix between Sinatra and Seth MacFarlane, which is, I know is a weird thing to say, but that's how it sounds. It, it It's just a fantastic record. There's Mark there hanging out by some old neon signs. And uh, there's Mark looking like a Dapper Dan. Um, there's all the credits and everything. This is just the CD version. And... There's the CD, and then the other painting. And another thing that I should say, too, is that the the swing band on this record are, a lot of them are cats that played with Sinatra. So he's playing with the big guns here. Um, you know, and it, it, it's just... It's so good. I don't even know if I should go through song by song. I'm probably just going to give you overall feelings here. He real, especially songs like Nancy with the laughing face. He really sounds like Sinatra, but not in a way that he's trying to be hokey. You know, it, it, it's him singing for real and he's out of his comfort zone. I'm assuming because he's usually playing alternate rock music, like kind of that late nineties, early two thousands when you, you know, groups like Creed and, Alter Bridge, you know, songs like, you know, Arms Wide Open and Higher and just kind of like those like emo kind of ballads. If I don't even know how to describe it, but um, I'd say probably one of the lesser tracks for me is the song Wave. I think it's the song Wave. Um, not a big fan of that, of how he does that, but it's what it is. And another one that doesn't quite hit the mark for me is um, My Way. It doesn't have that big finish that you want that song to have, which is funny because Sinatra wasn't a big fan of that song, and yet it kind of became his his stage song. It became his song. So that's kind of the way the, the way it happens sometimes. But My Way, he, um, he does kind of acoustically. I think he was probably knowing that that song was so well revered by Sinatra fans that he didn't want to really try it in that arrangement. So that one's actually, I think, in my, if I remember right, the only song that's more acoustic sounding. Everything else is full on like Sinatra arrangements with horns and brass and the whole works. Um, I love the song in the wee small hours of the morning, one of my favorites. Um, again, some of these songs I learned from Bob Dylan, like uh, All or Nothing at All. Um, Let's see. And then you've got stuff, you know, that's been done a hundred times. Fly Me to the Moon. I wish, that's one of those songs, I wish people would just stop covering it because it's been done so many times. And it's just one of those songs that, you know, it, it, it's, it's not one that I need to hear another person do. We have Sinatra. And, um, and Sinatra has a lot more songs than that to, to cover. I mean, the man performed from, uh, the 30s up until the uh, mid 90s so anyway i highly recommend this if you like a good crooner voice check it out um if if, if you like cree or alter bridge you're probably gonna be shocked to hear tremonti sing this way but i don't follow his career so i don't know but it's a it's a really cool record i, I highly recommend it it's been one of my favorites this past month or so since it's been out and like I said, all the proceeds go to autism awareness. And there's also an a um, there's also a vinyl version, which I'm probably not gonna get, just because vinyl is crazy expensive right now. So anyway, check it out. Mark Tremonti sings Frank Sinatra. Uh, I'll be back hopefully with another review here very soon. So in the meantime, y'all be good. Take care, and I'll talk to y'all on the next one.